Hello, welcome to this short video on Git and GitHub. Uh, my name is Roger Perkin and this video is an excerpt from my course on Ansible for Network Engineers. Uh, this is the Git module. I'm just demonstrating how to version control everything locally and then we're going to push the entire folder up to GitHub, create a new repository and then you can clone that down to your machine for future use. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, I've got my folder here, which has got some configurations, my group files, host files, and I've got a few playbooks in here. So we are starting to get some code together. Um, but if you've not heard of Git, Git is a way to version control your files locally. And then once you've got them version controlled locally, you can then push them up to an online repository like GitHub. Um, so you can share them with others. Um, for, for my purposes, um, this is just to keep track of my files. So to see the status of a folder um, within Git, you type git status. And this tells us that the command git is not found because git is not even installed on this machine. Now this is an Ubuntu 18.04 machine and I'm going to install Git, just using that command. Yeah, Git will work on Windows as well. It gives you a, a GUI and also um, a command line which looks very much like this. But this is just to explain the concepts to you and, and how these things work. So once we've pulled all the requirements uh, for Git and we've got Git installed, we then have to initialize a folder within your machine that you want to track. So Git then monitors the files that you tell it and then any changes within those files will be tracked. So Git's now installed. So if I do Git status again, it says this is not a Git repository. So to turn this folder into a Git repository, I do Git init. This now has created a Git repository. And if I now type git status, you can see I have all the files, um, but they are untracked. So all the files are read, they're untracked. So again, at this moment in time, git is not monitoring these files. It's not tracking any changes. So what I'm gonna do is let's add a file. So if I add ansible.cfg, and now do a git status, we can see that one file has been added, um, but it hasn't been committed yet. So that means that the file is just ready to be committed. And if I was gonna commit the file, I would do a git commit and we push it in. Um, but first of all, let's get all of these files in. Now you can add them one at a time, or the easiest way is to do git add dash dash all. And now we do a git status and all the files have been added. Now we need to commit these files into the repository. So we do a, a git commit and again I'm going to do a dash dash all and we have to put a message that relates to this commit. So I'm going to say this is the first commit. Now when you do updates on single files and you commit them in the next time you would then say um, with a single file fixed to resolve this problem or fixed a, a password issue or whatever. So you know that the version of the file that you've got has got a, a, a basic description on it to show you why that file was changed. Now, this has failed. Uh, the reason is we haven't set Git up yet. So there's a two uh, global configurations that you need to put in for Git. And this is really just to identify you as a person within Git because the idea of using Git and GitHub is not just for one person, really it's to have multiple people working on your repositories, changing code, and you really need some way to identify who's made a change to what. So if we say git config global email, now this is a display, uh, we're gonna just put uh, Roger at
the email and then get config global user dot name name okay now we can push um that commit poof that commits everything now so we do a git status and it says on our branch master which is our local branch here there's nothing to commit and everything is good so we've committed all the files nothing is changed now to prove how this works i'm going to make a little change into let's go into my ansible.config file and just change this forks here into a two now once that's been changed to a two that file has now changed so if we go into here and say get status ansible uh, sorry git has tracked that file and has now noticed that that file has been modified so we want to commit that change into the repository again so we do a git commit ansible.cfg and we give it a message this time we say walks change to two and i didn't specify a dash m there we go so now that has added that change into the repository so even though we've got a single file so I've got one file here which is ansible.cfg and this file has now been changed and I've updated it to change it to here within the git repository I've now got two versions of that file it's the original version and this new updated version and then if I want to I could roll back to that version this prevents you having to have all these different elements like having ansible.config version 1 version 3 you just keep the same file name but within git uh, you've got more options to roll back now i'm not going to go into the details of how to go into into the files and how to restore them um, i do have another course um, on git for network engineers which goes into much greater detail on how that all works so right now we have got everything working locally on our machine now this code is here but what i really want to do is get this code up onto github and into a public repository so let's just go into my github and this is here github.com slash roger perkin um there's me so i now need to create a new repository on github i'm going to click new over here and we're going to call this afne so this is playbooks and configurations from my ansible for network engineers course and we create that repository so this has created a public repository and then it tells you here how you can get the code up so what i want to do is i want to push an existing repository from the command line so i'm going to define now um, this public repository so i've got my local repository here which has got no clue about where to upload to so I'm going to say git remote add and this is going to be into this git folder. So that's, that's gone and set up now. And then the next one is to push all the configurations, all my files up into that folder. So we do that with git push. And it's saying with the origin as the master. So this is saying what I've got locally, push it up to the folder on GitHub. Now this will prompt me for my name. 
and the password. And that now pushes all of the code up to the repository. And just to check, we'll go back into the repository and click on there. And you can now see all the code has gone up to the repository. Here's all the playbooks, all the code, and it's in this folder. And you can see that message when I change that fork to two, um, that one's there. So this is ansible.cfg, forks changed. So this file was changed three minutes ago, as opposed to those that were all pushed up five minutes ago. So that is a brief introduction to using Git and GitHub. As I said, this is taken from my larger course, Ansible for Network Engineers, which goes through using Ansible to automate your network devices. Um, if you like this video, um, please give it a like and a, please subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this sort of thing. Um, if you want to learn more about Git, I do have another course coming up called Git for Network Engineers. Uh, the details for all of this stuff will be in the description below. And thank you for watching.